Hello people and welcome back to part 13 of Eggenborough House City Skylines 2 series. I hope you're having a wonderful day and indeed I've had both a wonderful and happy new year and Christmas as well. Welcome to our first video on the channel for 2024 where we are starting a brand new town in Eggenborough at the town of Inverneg as named by our beautiful patron Anthony. We're going to be bringing trains into this also feeding the dual carriageway slash interstate road right through the middle of the town whilst also working with some canals for the first time using the cotton fill feature that is baked into the CS2 engine, which turns out really nicely and adds a really distinct European style to a town, I think. So definitely worth trying, although it is a little bit of a nightmare <laughs> without the mods to get this cotton fill feature to behave itself for most of the time, but it's okay. Either way, please enjoy our introduction time lapse and we'll get started with building a second city in our map, shall we? So welcome everyone to the new established town of Inverneg named after our wonderful patron Anthony who you may also recognise as the person who changes his patron credits every week <laughs> because he's a pain. But either way, welcome back and we're going to get started in today's episode uh, by bringing in some train lines. So one of the things I've been most excited about in Cities 2 
is being able to actually set up kind of long distance train lines now because we get trains a lot so much earlier and you have so much space to well so much more space to play with in terms of actually unlocking tiles and being able to set up proper train networks so we're going to have a train that leaves whiskey it's going to come all the way over to Inverneg via the new networks that we set up a couple of episodes ago now where do we want you to stop so eventually this is going to be a loop we'll get the train running and then i'll kind of walk through my thought process of what's going to happen with the trains in Edinburgh. so complete train route that's wonderful now we may also need at this point some more trains but we'll wait and see so we'll name this one this one is now whiskey to Inverneg. and that first train line is the whiskey intercity isn't it so we'll have those there now I bet this is going to tell us that we need more trains, isn't it? We had a car crash here. And we have as well someone's house even burnt down. A tragedy. It was, wait, was that a hearse that crashed? It was, wasn't it? That is not a good way to go. <laughs> Dear me. Oh, how, how insanely tragic. Yeah, there we go. Right, so we're getting the no vehicles notification here. So we now need to head back to the rail yard. And we want to add... Some extra tracks onto this i believe which should allow five more trains to come out of it yeah it does and we also need to actually provide a connection for that one don't we um so we just get you on an angle sort of coming back through this way and we will snap to existing geometry here too delicious wonderful that should keep the trains going we'll see them move out and around now which is very exciting but as you would have seen in that introduction time lapse, we're playing with um, some canal vibes here today, which should be a lot of fun for the waterfront. So I definitely want to start getting some uh, row housing in and around these spaces over here. Uh, different shapes and sizes, see if we can help it. And thankfully, the shattered grid here is actually probably going to help us with that. So let's get all this growing. I imagine we'll also do some uh, work with the path tool just to correct some of the zonings here. Because uh, I don't want I, well, I want them all facing the same direction, really. We'll have some stuff like that. I also want to make sure we get some uh, mixed use up on the corner here as well. We don't actually have the demand for it, do we? I guess it's medium density, isn't it, actually? So these corners here want to be mixed use. Uh, yeah, let's get all these done as well. Cool, and then we'll mix and match some of that row housing in again. There we go, that's what we want. And we'll do something a little bit more special with this kind of big open park space here. Um, I'd love to integrate some park assets into it, actually. Um, how about a small playground? Large plaza is a little big for this. Large city park should work quite nicely, though. Let's have this up against the water. And a lot more of that mixed use up on the corners here as well, I think. Try to get some of those chunkier blocks of it in. And we'll also do some more park space here, too. Let's do a skate park here. We'll also have a little pathway that's going to cut through. It's uh, stuck to the sides of our buildings. And an angle as well would help us. Delicious. So all this stuff around here is actually pedestrian. So it'd be a lot of fun, I think, to see it all active and busy once it does come in. Uh, massively inspired by Teddy Radko's recent tutorial on the official Cities channel, if you haven't seen it. Uh, definitely worth checking out. Teddy does some really cool uh, designs with kind of an Amsterdam sort of district. Oh, so this is definitely where this is sort of idea has been taken from for Inverneg. Uh, where we do have these broken corners where of course we won't get any zoning in. Um, I'd love to come in with some specifically placed trees just to fill them out. Cool. So already we're now starting to see some of these buildings come in. I just want to get down on the street level and, and see what we think. It's pretty nice isn't it? It's going to be a nice feature in the town of course once it's grown up. Uh, speaking of setting up a new town, we're also going to need services for these folks as well. Uh, I did also mention we'd do with the train line, wouldn't we? So yeah, let me explain the train system. So we got this station here, which is now a fully upgraded train station. It's got all this stuff tethered onto it beside uh, the subway interface, of course. It's not really using the subway in the city just yet. Uh, so this train line here is going to curve off. It's going to come up this way. It's going to pass through the town of Bourbon once it exists. Uh, come across the river and then link up with this one which will allow us to run train lines on both sides of the tracks as it comes in and out of into whiskey bourbon and inverneg 
But of course, that's a little bit of ways away yet because there's a whole town to develop around this train line. And these ones over here, um, I'd actually love to get more intercity connections established at this point. How far away are we from the map boundary here? Um, I'd love to establish a new train connection today for the outside world. Um, we could go up there, I guess, couldn't we? That's going to be the most sensible choice, I think. Yeah, probably have to do a little bit of tunneling or level terrain to get through this little hillside here. Very, very hilly, isn't it? Pretty insane, actually, <laughs> the, amount of, the amount of hills here. Um, so in terms of how the rest of the town is going to develop, this dual carriageway system, I definitely want this to be factored into the town design. Um, as we come into this area here, we'll have a lot of our commercial and some services. Like quite an American sort of design, isn't it, to have essentially like the interstate passing through the middle of the town. So let's keep this going. Now, we're coming downhill here, so and ideally we can come up to a 20 meter incline there, can we really? That is quite a lot, isn't it? If we were to level out the terrain to the same height over here. And I'm not sure exactly what's happening with this side of town. Of course, we're going to hook the dual carriageway system into a highway network at some point. So let's do a 180 degree snap here with our bridge and then we'll bring this back down to earth over this side. That's hopefully not going to look too weird. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. We can get some other kind of local highway roads also running up here as well, I imagine. That function as a sort of back way into Bourbon, so we'll also prepare this road as well, just to remind us of that connection eventually. And then what we can do is just bring this down toward the waterfront, integrate that into the local network of Inverneg, and then we can start to create more connections here, okay? Cool, I reckon we're gonna, probably going to call today's episode, I don't know. I guess kind of reject hierarchy and embrace connections maybe, might be a good title for today. Well, there we go, look at that. I'm very much enjoying seeing that mixed use up against the uh, the canals. It's quite nice, isn't it? So, with that in mind, let's keep it all coming in. Uh, definitely, lots more mixed use on this main on this main one here, I think. And then we'll scatter the row housing in the smaller, more fractured spaces, something like that. Get some different lengths and stuff growing too. Cool. So let's get this train line hooked in as well. Cool. So that is now another external train connection. And we can now also begin accepting intercity trains into Inverneg, which is very wonderful. Let's get this going over there. And we'll also name these just so we can keep on top of them. Uh, this one will be Inverneg Intercity. Fantastic. And then with the extra platforms we have, I guess we'll just sort of see what other towns develop around the map. I imagine we'll probably feed one over here at some point, but we'll just sort of wait and see what happens with that. Yeah, but either way, let's return now to the wonderful world of services for Inverneg. So, education's pretty dire. We need a lot of elementary school, um, which is understandable because it's a little bit underwhelming elementary at the minute, isn't it? There's an endless insatiable demand for it. So let's have our elementary school. Let's sort of see what landscape we're playing with here. How I actually wouldn't mind having the elementary school here by the canals. Uh, let's push back a little bit more of this landmass here. And then we'll have our elementary school. Can we have that centered with the main canal? We can we need to delete that tree though. There we go. Yeah, I'm happy with that there. That's absolutely wonderful. Uh, let's get this fully upgraded too. We'll get the extension wings on it. Uh, we'll also have a playground and then we'll do the children's clinic on the side, I think. 
I think it's often very tempting with these modular service assets to try and make them as symmetrical as possible. But I think sometimes throwing it off to the side at a different angle can really help break up a building. We think so anyway. Cool. There we go. So we've got people arriving in now. I did mention I wanted this road to kind of flow through uh, Inverneg Town. So in order to do that, I actually want to draw up some connections from the pre-existing grid like that. And then kind of use that as a bit of a placeholder to then upgrade the roads in between. Yeah, there we go. That's what we want. And then to soften out any harsh terrain. We are building on a very subtle hillside here, so I'm hoping when it all kind of comes to fruition, it's going to look quite cool on the big gradient that comes down the hill. I'll have to wait and see. Cool, so let's have a look at some current city demographics. We should have pretty high unemployment at the minute. 17%, uh, yeah, we do. So let's get some commercial and office space down in the town centre here. Uh, definitely like some office space around the main street here, I think, too. Oh, new centre building. Principis, if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, the company's working in this modern office building that only makes sure that, serve, that justice is served, but their efficiency actually helps reduce the crime rate in the neighbourhood. Wonderful. How big is this? I think this is our first signature office building, isn't it? Uh, well, let's get this in in Veneg, then. We have that there. Uh, yeah, that's quite a nice one, I suppose, isn't it? It's quite modern looking. I like the little holes on it. Nice also. Got cry more as well. Oh, there's another milestone as well. Grand City. How fantastic. Yeah, more money <laughs> to build with. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Fantastic. Cool. So we've also got a little bit of, well, we do actually have uh, demand for ambulances now. So let's get that clinic down as well. Uh, now might be a good time. We've got a lot of development points. Um, I find myself unlocking a lot of this stuff very slowly. Um, so why don't we give Inverneg kind of a big a big hospital? Now I'd love to give Inverneg kind of a a larger facility, maybe a technical university, we'll focus on that in an episode. But I think in terms of healthcare, disease control consent seems a little large. But the Health Research Institute seems like it might be a nice fit here. Let's have a look how big this beast is. That's oh, not too bad, actually, is it? It's not, it's not too bad. It's definitely workable. Okay. Let's have a look at our landscape here. This is definitely kind of a meat and potatoes of the build, isn't it? Well, especially of the town. Are we just going to have it there? Just on the main street? It's going to be really nice passing through this. You should pass through the town on the interstate, isn't it? Really like that. Uh, what sort of upgrades do you have? None. You must have something. Oh really? It's just it's not a modular one. Okay, that's that's fine then I suppose. Uh, so a facility that studies the way citizens can remain healthy and educated in various ways includes lectures and outdoor challenges. So it reduces disease infection and also boosts park entertainment. So is it not actually a clinic? It's just a research institute. So is it functioning as a school? You can only place one of them. Interesting. Okay, well, with that discovery now in mind, I think I'd also like to partner this with a med clinic as well, because I don't think it's going to function as an actual clinic, is it? Uh, so let's bring this up. Let's go ahead and add in an alleyway snapped to the side of a building here. I want to kind of see if we can come up with a little bit of a fusing, I suppose. And we can delete that one. We know that it will sit nicely against this one now. And hopefully we can have this about there, I reckon. Well, and that should be a pretty natural extension of the Health Institute there, shouldn't it? Especially when we fully upgrade our med clinic as well, which we will do immediately. Fantastic. That's going to fuse into there quite nicely as well. That can come into there. And then we'll also develop some cuter parking spaces at the front as well. Imagine a building like this would be pretty well stocked in the old parking department, wouldn't it? So we'll give it, so we'll go for a large parking lot. I feel like we will go for a large one actually. 
Hold them like that. How are we feeling about that now? Kind of a little medical centre within Inverneg town. Don't mind that at all. It's always pissing down in Inverneg, isn't it? Constant. <laughs> it really is. Uh, and then we'll do some snap to the side of building and some 90 degree angle um, pathways for some very light vanilla detailing. There we go. Keep people walking around. And we'll also get some nice larger oak trees up here too. Try to create a bit of open green space in front of this big sort of medical facility, I guess, isn't it? It's always nice discovering all these new kind of you know vanilla combinations of assets in cities too, because of course I think one of my biggest strong points in CS1 was just the knowledge of the asset pool, and of course that's all gone now. But I don't mind that. The Health Institute next to a medical clinic is going to work out quite nicely, isn't it, against the main street there? Pretty happy with it. Cool. We'll also get some uh, trees and grass lining around here uh, during our detailing as well. So we've now got a ton of office space here, uh, which I don't mind seeing. Um, I'd also like some apartment buildings to appear within this town centre as well. So why don't we have one a bit more office around here too? I generate some of these larger spaces with office blocks. There we go. And then if we've got room for a little bit of mixed use through those middle zonings there. Looks like we have, doesn't it? Oh look, there goes our intercity trains. Wonderful news. Let's have a little look at them pass through the town. This should be quite a nice approach into the city, I think. Yeah, very cool. I'm liking that. Um, I'd also love some commercial on these tiles in particular. Let's get those zoned up. And we'll see some people arrive over here now as well, won't we? Um, how are we doing for taxi service? I wonder, do we possibly need another taxi depot over here? Um, how is the one over in Port Whiskey behaving? Uh, it should be around here somewhere. It's this one, isn't it? Yeah, it's got all of its taxis are currently in use, so it looks like we definitely want another taxi depot then. And I think with the left-hand side of the town over this way is where we'll develop a little bit more uh, industrial infrastructure, I imagine. Um, because we do have some pretty hefty demands, so we'll have a taxi depot here, and we can do space for more taxis. Let's have one there then. And we'll also do the dispatch centre too, so they can pick them up from anywhere. I've seen some people use these little slip ramps now off the highway. Hoping that this isn't going to get too overwhelmed. It shouldn't do. It's a pretty similar couple system to what we ran through the centre of uh, Whiskey. So it, it should be okay. Oh, let's continue on with services. So we have healthcare in now. We've got school. Although again, we still need more elementary school. Um, maybe we need a higher capacity version at some point in the game. Uh, fire and rescue, of course, is next. So this guy is a big chungus. And um, again, I think do we want to go with. I think we will go with the larger one. And looks like it might actually fit perfectly up against the edge of the rail there. In and around the train station. I'm not averse to that. Oh, would you look at that? All trains passing through. I love to see it. Very nice, isn't it? There we go. And some people now arriving from Whiskey. That is exciting, isn't it? There we go. Making the move through the train station. Not too many people in via the intercity train out of um, Inverneg yet. But that's okay. Hopefully they'll eventually turn up. I'm always keen to see where they go once they've left here. I imagine we'll probably implement a bus service at some point too. But what's a, what's a pretty cool view already, right? Merging out of um, the train station here. Bridge across into the canal district where you can see, just about see the water from here anyway. Lots of people walking down that way too. View down into the main city there as well. Very nice. Very nice indeed. My eventual vision for Inverneg is to have some low density residential on the outskirts of the town here, this side of the dual carriageway. But uh, we'll get to that on a different day. Don't make the town too big today at least. Uh, we've got some zoning squares here. I wouldn't mind creating a few more jobs in and around 
the outside of the train station. Uh, now, how about police? Can we... Got the prison, the Central Intelligence Bureau, Administration, Welfare Office. Oh, is that a sits and fits moment? It is, isn't it? It is indeed. Okay, police station has to go there then. Uh, I don't mind having the police station out front of the train station. We'll also upgrade that to its max potential as well. Oh, and that, that should give us quite a nice frontage, actually. In around the train station, got the fire station here. Up against the main road, a little bit of commercial always goes a long way, doesn't it? Just look at that. Walking pawn for the masses. Delicious. Okay, not too bad. Uh, not enough water. We are out of water, are we? Yes, we are. Okay. Um, is there anything we want to invest into here? We've got the development points to burn. Uh, water treatment plant, purification of wastewater treated water can be safely recirculated into the water network or disposed of. Let's grab the water treatment plant then. We've also got the advanced water pumping, highly efficient and powerful surface water pumping station. Let's grab that as well. We've got the development points for it, haven't we? So this is a chunky boy. So I'd love to make this part of the industrial state of the mines, if at all possible. Uh, so let's grab our advanced water pumping station. Can I... Oh, where do we want this? I think over here might be a good shout. Um, although I might have to do a touch of terraforming just to accommodate it. Let's push out this layer here. It's weird as well, you can only place one of these too. I didn't realise that so many of these service assets were essentially unique buildings. Uh, you know, it's not snapped to shoreline either. That's throwing us off, isn't it? So, about there, I reckon. I think we can do a pretty convincing job of blending that into the industrial mine district. It kind of looks like it maybe has a home here. These almost look like gas sort of cylinders, don't they? Gas storage tanks. As with this pipe here as well. Okay, we'll go with that then. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in a road up against the edge. Cool, so we'll have that up here. I also wouldn't mind a little parking space to also accompany this asset while it's out here on its own. And also a little office unit, just as some pumping station administration, if you like. Okay. Yeah, we can have that there. God, there's a tornado in the mountains. Hopefully it won't destroy the ore mines at least. So we'll hold on and wait and see. Cool. So this is what I was envisioning, right? Having kind of gas stations and convenience stores down the um, the main strip through town. That's also the dual carriageways. It slows down as it passes through. Could also be scope here to have this as a three lane uh, road, which would give us some more turning options. Let's just explore that real quick. So... How do we want to blend you in? Yeah, we'll just have it as three lane through this way, I think. As it comes into the town, we'll allow the extra lane to function as a turning lane. But I also want to slow that one down as well, I think. Now, how are you boys doing? I think with this lane here, I'm actually going to have this as a one-way. I don't want people turning back on the road here. Let's have that as three lane too. Yeah, while this is a busier junction, if they want to turn left on this way, then they can do it down on this one. We'll also go ahead and remove any parking off of these streets as well with the wide sidewalk upgrade. Tremendous. That train line's already super busy, isn't it? Goodness me. So where are you going, I wonder? You're an intercity cargo train. Oh, you're just passing through. Okay. Do I mind that? I don't think I do. Oh, it's also very exciting to see all the trains using the interchange here as well, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so look how busy that is now with all the, the cars and the trains passing over. Very happy egg. I also realised I had a lot of comments a few episodes ago uh, pointing out this isn't omnidirectional. Um, I know, I'm aware that it isn't. 
it is by design. The turn off to go from this direction facing this one isn't really necessary since it actually loops back in around the countryside and the port on this dual carriageway system up here. So it's not really a necessary connection. And it's flowing fine without it at the minute as well. Anyway, we're getting distracted. But uh, so far, Imaneg is going up to be quite a tasty little town, isn't it? Definitely want lots more mixed use zoning in and around the canal district here. So let's make sure we get this zoned up. I'd also love to give them some parks as well. Um, probably actual parks. Can we go for dog park? It's always a favourite, isn't it? Very placeable, the dog park. How's about that? Not too bad, we could possibly start worming some pathways in between here to get people through to that corner. I guess we'll sort of see how it turns out. Yeah, but that's the primary services taken care of for Inverneg now. They should all be okay. So we've got some potential traffic threatening to back up here. This just looks a case of too many traffic lights is spoiling the arterial, I guess is the, the saying, isn't it? Right? Too many lights spoil the road. Uh, we'll just have lights at the main junction here. And these guys coming out the train station can just give way to the main road. Yeah, it seems to be filtering through now with those lights off. There's just a ton of pedestrian traffic here, isn't there? Maybe calls for an elevated pedestrian path to appear here somewhere. We'll wait and see. Um, there's also a lot of taxis coming back down this road as well to get back to their depot, which is understandable. Uh, but to alleviate that pressure, I'd like to... Go ahead and connect in uh, these networks over here now. Although some slight work needed to amend them in. There we go. Also do a little slope up here too. So the land is a little more friendly to the road. And we can bring that down now. Have this. And we'll probably downgrade into smaller roads here actually now. Get the larger roads around the waterfront. And then we can just have this meander back up to that national road that feeds back into the mines over this way. So I think definitely some more row housing up here. Go ahead and get all this growing. Definitely think if you're going to play with the canals in CS2, the European zone is the way to go with it, I think. We'll have another plaza out this way as well. And I wanted to leave some of them open as if it is maybe a beach, if you like. People can maybe come and enjoy the river down here. Uh, over here as well and actually uh, use the terraforming up this way to make it look like it's kind of a, a trodden path like a desire line across the roundabout people taking a shortcut so nice to have a bit of a different texture in there rather than constant green grass everywhere yeah, but either way before we move into a detailing time lapse uh, let's have a look what our patrons are up to uh, so joshua t is now wealthy living on hickory street uh, he's over in the Main Street Whiskey doing rather well for himself, it has to be said. Uh, he's got his new dream job. He's also moved in with Brittany. Congratulations, Josh. I'm glad you're all happy, bud. Uh, Richard Francis is modest, living at Empire Street. Let's see where Rich is doing. No, he doesn't live too far away from Josh, actually. Also in a pretty nice part of town. There's definitely more work to do over around Whiskey. We'll do some live stream around Whiskey, I think, with some little spots to finish up. A casino is a senior, he's content, although he is poor, at living in Washington Street. Let's see where casino is at. Uh, this is a pretty nice part of town, though. He's on the main strip near the cathedral over here. What's he doing for work? He's just retired. And he's, he got married to Whitney. Wonderful. There's just a never-ending stream of divorce <laughs> from all the different patrons. Uh, Brassac has met uh, Jane Nicholson. Wonderful. He's living at Morberry Street. Let's see where he's at. Although he has uh, wretched wealth, but he's living in one of the apartment buildings in the downtown. Not a surprise, it is an expensive place to live. Uh, Ross Hicks is on Empire Street with again with wretched wealth, but in another medium density row housing uh, near Josh and Rich, actually, isn't he? But otherwise, uh, Tom Goodman isn't the right person for him anymore. It looks like he left Tom Goodman for Tom Velasquez. <laughs> he's got. He's got a thing for the Toms, hasn't he? Yeah, Chris Ortman, who was near constantly sick, uh, has left Elliot Kendall and is living in Victoria Street. Let's see where he's at now. Again, living in the downtown, not too far from Brassac, which is nice. Uh, Dominic doesn't feel too well, but has started his dream job at Cat Cabin. 
He's living on Applegate Lane. Uh, a lot of the patrons live over here, don't they? They're all very close to each other. Uh, the Gnomin is wretched, living in Daffodil Street. Again, in the downtown. In one of the towers. But he's moving in with Terry. But doesn't feel too well. But he is happy, at least. Sarah Ducky is living a comfortable life at 36 Autumn Street. Uh, not too far from the downtown, where we could possibly explore some upzoning around here now. Maybe time for some higher density commercial to replace. Is this all low density here? It is, isn't it? Okay, let's upzone this one then. This can become high density now as it begins to grow up. And then we'll also do this lot here as well. This can become high density too. Wonderful. The uh, traffic around Whiskey is a dream, isn't it? Really nice car parks filling it now as well over here. I really do like the way Whiskey came out. It's always fun building these little towns up. Uh, then we've got the Gnomon living on Daffodil Street. Yeah, in the big tower block again. Wonder if one day the patrons will marry each other. Have to wait and see, won't we? Uh, Jeff is living in an apartment block over by a train line here. And has also moved in with Paul after leaving Amber. I always hear that, Jeff. But he's wealthy and happy. That's all we can ask for, isn't it? Uh, Jeeba is a senior and is officially poor, unfortunately. But he's living on Grove Street. No way. We've got a Grove Street in the... Um, in the, the city we do, don't we? Oh shit, here we go again. And then the wonderful Claire Flack is now moved over to Moore Street. Uh, doing rather well. Oh, living by the university. Claire is doing well for herself. Good to see. So we'll add some more patrons once these die. Uh, we've had a few more moving to senior stage of life now. So <laughs> once, once they pop their clogs, uh, we will add some more patrons into the city to flow around. But either way, how can we see um, whiskey from here as well? I really like that. You can even see the, the spires of the cathedral over there and the mound of the castle. It's a pretty nice viewpoint there, isn't it? Back over to the other town. Really seeing the castle on the natural hill in the town. Appropriate placement. Big fan of that one. Uh, but either way, it does feel like a good point for some detail. I don't want to do too much. Uh, with Inverneg's industrial area here and office because I wanted to, like I said, try and tie it into some kind of research institute. I'm thinking the technical university. I say, why don't we let you guys choose um, what is going to be Inverneg's big draw? I think we should do the technical university. But if you think we should maybe go down the disease control center or maybe the prison or the central bank or something. Just some kind of big industry that really supports, obviously, away from the mining. Oh, the Geological Research Center. It's got to be that, right, if the mines are here? I think it has to be, doesn't it? I don't think we can refuse that. Okay, let me know if you want the Geological Research Center. Otherwise, let me know in the comments down below what sort of big, chunky, important asset you think Inverness should have. But either way, let's move into a time lapse. I want to get lots of paths and trees. And uh, carry on zoning up this initial sort of town centre grid here with apartments and mixed use and office and, and whatever our demands are growing up. I guess we, we still need more jobs, don't we? Yeah, so we should really fill this with jobs. That employment is coming down, but uh, it needs to come down a little bit more yet. So office, commercial, and other job opportunities with parks and general spices to complete the town centre here. And there's some trees through here as well, I imagine. And then we'll be right back.
Okay guys, so the town of Inverneg is really starting to bustle now. I really like how this Health Research Institute uh, sits within the town itself. Now we actually unlocked a new unique building, uh, the Switch On Factory uh, up here. And I think we're going to partner this with our uh, Geology Research Institute that we saw uh, in the Education menu. And also do some fun things with server farms to create a real kind of thick, dedicated industrial build uh, for Inverneg next episode. That's going to be quite a lot of fun, I think. But either way, around here now we've got our football pitch in. Uh, just general town vibes around the uh, pretty simple grid apartments, shops, commercial offices. Uh, really helped to bring that unemployment down as well. Uh, traffic flow right through the interstate that comes through the middle of the town is really good. Uh, also loving seeing the trains kind of run parallel with it all. And then through here, a lot of the mixed use turned out really nicely on these street corners. Of course, the mixed use kind of extends its texture out onto a corner. Uh, which is really helpful almost it's kind of like a very very poor man's surface painter but it does a job for right now anyway and i really liked how all the mixed use turned out um around the town it's it's a really cute area and we did end up actually doubling up the elementary schools just because we had such insane demand for it um, which i don't mind how this turned out actually i uh, also got one of the roundabouts up here as well with tons of people taking the path back up to the hillside there which is really cool and then lots of parking uh commercial a little path patterns around here around our parks just to help create some more organic green belt uh, within the town itself and then further over the networks uh, ready to expand out this way with some simple slip planes that come up and allow people to siphon off into the town uh, if they do wish they are actually taking this occasionally or they were going to put it in anyway <laughs> but of course when there's things over here for them to come and enjoy then they will do especially once we get that big industrial complex that Inverneg is known for I reckon we'll have it here kind of sat over the town might be quite cool of course as we now kind of look across the river and um, we can really see that hill coming into effect as you can really see in the grander distance view of whiskey there in the background can't you i think it's important you know really kind of terraform to what you want it to be but also don't remove the natural crawl in height that would be there with the landscape anyway so i'm really happy with how this turned out and the mixed use from the riverfront looks really cool as well and that will definitely have a more industrial side of the riverfront over here. Again, when we come to build that industrial side of the town. Uh, tons of people now enjoying the train journey back into from Whiskey to Inverneg. Uh, plenty of people using that. We will have uh, a little look at our public transport overview. Uh, 224 passengers on that Whiskey Inverneg line, which is very nice. Hopefully that's just going to keep getting busier as Inverneg goes out. And not a ton of people using the intercity connection back into to Inverneg on the outside world but at least it is connected and it can carry on going through there uh, there's also trains passing through this station as well back onto uh, the national lane there as well and i really love seeing the trains actually approach from uh, the little hillside here as it kind of weaves down uh, back into the town and, uh, tons of people absolutely tons of people walking back up and to from the train station here uh, back into the town i imagine eventually this is going to want to be remedied either with a bus service um, or some pedestrian walking pathways back and to uh, across here or maybe from elsewhere maybe we'll set up a system kind of crosses over the railway once there's something to cross over to around this side like i said i imagine we'll bring in some kind of suburban crawl uh, up on the hillside overlooking the main town center here uh, but either way it turned out into a really fun build and really happy with how it's sitting so far in the hills and by the river but otherwise guys that is going to do it for today big happy new year to you all welcome back to the channel of course for the first video of 2024 hope you all had a safe and happy christmas and new year definitely expect more cs2 content going forward there will probably be some changes to the content plan in terms of the cities one stuff uh, just because the cs2 stuff's getting more views these days so probably start to wind down some of the more cities one content maybe move a series to live stream and orchid bay doesn't have that much life left in it now so it's likely Thessia will remain the only Cities 1 content on the channel going forward. And after Orchid Bay ends, you can expect uh, probably two CS2 videos on the channel a week. So we'll make a lot more progress with Edinburgh. Massive shout out to all the patrons who support the channel. With, of course, a special roll call to the legend that is Felix Wilkinson. If you're interested in becoming one of those patrons, there are links down below. And also, don't forget to check out the instant gaming link for some fantastic savings on all of your favourite games. If you've missed anything last year, definitely check out the link. Might be now might be the time to pick it up. Otherwise, please do enjoy today's cinematic spot. I'll shut up and leave it there. Let's thank you all so much for watching. And as always, 
Enjoy the rest of your day.